Hey everybody, it's Rick O'Shea playing MPQ Marvel Puzzle Quest. Thanks for jumping on again. It's a big day. There is a bunch of brand new stuff going on in MPQ starting right now. The Symbiotic Relationship Store is finally available. This is the Command Points based store that has the new 5 star Carnage in it. Along with him is Green Goblin and Black Suit Spider-Man. And so um, they are, you know, they're theme themed for this store with a symbiotic relationship for how, um, you know, the, the, the story with the characters and such. And um, it also fits Halloween quite perfect. Today happens to be Halloween. So uh, have fun, uh, be safe, and uh, hope you enjoy the, the uh, activities with kids and such. And we'll get some, we got a couple um, Halloween based uh, nodes to clear through today. And uh, we won't be do doing any draws from this store, but I did want to point it out because it's open today. But we will be doing a lot of uh, tokens, including... Uh, we'll, we'll, we might do one draw from the Halloween Horror since it's the last day. But uh, outside of that, the Sinister Six, Spider-Man vs. Sinister Six is the brand new uh event story mode event that's open right now and that's going to be a lot of fun we also will save that for a, a separate video right after this one but uh be look since it's round one today things are kind of uh, on the easy side we'll wait till things get a little more challenging to do some team run throughs and then here's the cletus cassidy uh, vault and it's got a token to that symbiotic relationship store that we talked about and so we are going to do some draws here from our tokens. So um, let's go back and get into some action first while we let people kind of get warmed up. Let's uh, jump into the DDQ and take on, I, I saved the big enchilada because I had a team that I was um, looking forward to running a full costumed team through the big enchilada. It's gonna be pretty easy, I think, but um, hopefully you'll get a little bit out of this combo so here we go. We've got the brand new Scarlet Witch costume with the uh, the, the overall witch outfit is is uh, just perfect for her, and we've got the the uh, the Magneto and the Quicksilver, and of course all three of these have kind of a family reference if you follow different parts of the uh, comics and stuff or the uh, the Marvel history. Let's get into it. I think this team's actually quite good together. If you didn't know, they have uh, a perfect color structure for all active abilities and uh, just one overlap in the green. We'll use Quicksilver's green. All right. So let's get into the, let's get our animations on and then get into the action. So these guys aren't going to be too tough, but what I like to point out with this team is matching blue is so good because it does a couple things it builds up for quicksilver's passive of course where eventually it will be uh, an aoe team damage while locking the team up tiles but separately from that of course matching blue helps uh, magneto's big blue ability and scarlet witch puts a countdown tile on the board you'll see it right after this right on our turn here so she places a count on the board, but what she does is actually converts a non-blue basic tile to a blue countdown tile. So once in a while, she could place it somewhere like right there um, or automatically right there for a blue match. And so it works really well for Quicksilver or Magneto or both sometimes. All right, let's get some black. I like to go for black with, with Quicksilver a lot. I think it's one of the most tactical abilities in the three-star realm doesn't do a lot of damage but it helps you build up for things that do okay so we have two locked team up tiles and we need another blue match well we're going to go ahead and let scarlet witch's arcane incantation count down we should get a nice uh, couple of, of at least one purple match down there so we'll just get black all right, here we go with Scarlet Witch's Countdown. Does a lot better when it's not trapped in the corner, but I didn't feel like matching it away. We have a lot of good stuff going on. Let's move over to this guy. We can do Quicksilver's Black ability, 
I think what we'll try to do is get one more blue match first because that'll make uh, the uh, his uh, both of his abilities cost less for one thing. Let's do maybe we'll get a blue to come down close. We did. All right, so the third blue match locks another team up and now we're in really good shape here in this match. So let's do a tile swap, and um, what I'm thinking is we could do a couple of things for a really good spot to, to transfer tiles. How about we go... Yeah, it's too bad I can't swap that one out for a red. That'd be an extra move if we could. That'd be great. Maybe we'll wait one more turn. Lost my locked team up and another one. Oh, Rick finds a way to mess that up way too often, don't I? No problem. We'll still do we'll do our swap here since we can go right into an extra move position. We'll move a black tile into that spot, or maybe we can move it into this spot. What's better? Blue or purple in place of where a black is. Let's do the blue because we can swap it right there for a free match. Okay. Got our lock tile back. Extra move. Cool. All right. So let's start knocking these guys out. And one more blue match will do team damage. Let's do it right here. Nice. Not just about everybody down. We're not getting uh, our Scarlet Witch countdown for a lot of purple. Usually I'd have probably at least 10 purple by now. All right. So let's see if we can let that countdown get all that surrounding purple. It's almost guaranteed to be a big extra move. We'll fire purple for the win. I know we could play Magneto for plenty of time by now, but looking forward to the Scarlet Witch. Look at that. Huge match five plus. We've got everything ready to go. Uh, let's just play this for fun. Hex Bolt. Some people forget that it can destroy special tiles enemy special tiles even sometimes countdowns it's not a big it's not a damage ability at all it's more just uh tactical of course and we can play reality crush should get this stun on her i think right cool that's nice to do it that way magneto's red will it's the only um, drawback really it destroys all team up tiles and it will unlock the locked team ups if you had any but this will about do it and there we go magneto's blue ability would certainly have finished it so hey pretty good team fun combo family oriented costume group and we got the win so we're going to do the crash of the titans also let's uh Let's take on the Behemoth Burrito quick before we do that, and then we'll do our tokens after the crash. Or maybe we'll do our tokens and then come back for the crash. That might be better. So I was looking forward to this Behemoth Burrito. The team we're against, check it out. I, I really am a big fan of Endgame Thanos. I love the way his passive blue works into his green ability. However, in this team setup, we don't have any teammates that give the enemy team special tiles, nor does the enemy's team create um, strike attack or protect tile so so we're losing a little bit of uh, functionality from Thanos with his green ability but I think we're gonna be just fine overall let them get a match four in purple so I can get that black oh that might have been a bad might have been a bad leave 
If they get too much purple, um, Black Widow's gonna just steal it all away from me. I know there's two match fours, but I think this green makes it so that they don't get a match four against me. More black. Let me get another black, and then we can probably take Widow out easily. So um, if the enemy team was making strike attack or protectiles against us, once there's more than three, three or more on the board, Thanos would um, remove one enemy special tile per turn and then add green to the board. It's so good. But uh, they didn't choose a team even just like, you know, Dokken or Iron Fist or somebody that would put special tiles on the board against us. There we go. Oh, nope, I thought I thought that might be Sandman's that put uh, Protectiles on the board. Not that ability. That would have been smart too, come on. Um, just want a black here. Maybe we'll have to just start playing our other teammates abilities. Sometimes they design some pretty um, cohesive teams on this uh, on this particular battle. with some synergies and stuff, but not really with this team. Well, I think we're gonna get our green before we get our black ready to play. Oh, look at that drop, perfect. Earthquake's bad though, team damage against us and a board shuffle. All right, here we go. So interesting about Quake, she has a team damage reduction built in to her passive. So let's get this extra move first in her yellow passive ability. So she might reduce the damage coming her way, but this that's okay. Let's do this Vicious Determination. It uh, deals target damage plus team damage, and if they're, uh, if team damage, if they are uh, actual heroes, Great, that was enough to take Quake out. Let's now play. Oh, maybe, maybe we want to wait a turn. Let's wait a turn, get that critical match on her. Probably best to take her out, so we'll do that. We are taking every single ability they have. And here we go. Mad Titan's Mercy destroys... 32 tiles, which is half of the board randomly, and uh, you get damage bonus if it's any special tiles. Of course, once again, there are none, but we might be able to get some good cascades. Let's see what we get. Pretty good. Not uh, not that bad. We uh, Let's see. We have no black. So we can go through and um, build up for Thanos to end it for us, but we've got enough... Well, let's play this for fun. Since Cyclops has his cool costume equipped. And for the win. Okay, that wasn't too bad. We'll go through and do our tokens, and then we'll come back for the Crash of the Titans. Should be a good thing to look forward to come back to. So... Here, let's start here in the Cletus Vault, because I always suggest to everyone, the 40-pack, when, when it's a significant discount to the 10-pack, you should probably just do the 40-pack if you can afford it, right, with hero points. So if you have more than 5,600 hero points, you should spend the 40x and just get everything um, and without having to worry about your odds and stuff. And I always overthink about the odds and whatever. And so we're going to do it again. <laughs> the 10x is 1,800. So if you even did it three times, that adds up to 5,400 hero points instead of the 5,600 for the 40-pack. Um, I really only want the four-star 
well, let me see. I really only am looking forward to the four-star carnage, but more importantly, the symbiotic relationship legendary level token. Those are really the only two things I, I would really want to go for in here. And then, of course, the heroics are fine, the three stars, but I don't need a lot of the two stars or the ISO, really. Um, so I don't need to guarantee to get all 40 items. So I'm going to risk it and see if we get that legendary token in the first couple of draws. At the moment, I can only afford to do one 10x, and we'll come back on another video and do another 10x or two until we get it for sure. Last time, yeah, this backfired and I had to do all, 40, all four draws of the 10x, and it cost me a lot more hero points. But, but it's worked plenty of times within the first or second pull, and then I saved on hero points. So I think, historically, I'm ahead. Let's see what we get on the 10x starting with ISO not a good sign got the carnage though that's nice I, I think that was the last one that came through we got a four-star carnage for our draws so um, I'm left with only doing 10x draws from now on we'll see how we run we'll come back to that all right, couple of tokens in the Sinister Six. We could get a four-star Carol, a Sandman, but the Spidey 2099 version, his black ability, that'd be a nice cover to get. Of course, I don't have him champed yet. Some of you guys do. Three-star Hulk. And three-star Falcon running good so far. And another Falcon. Cool. All right. Well, three three stars is not bad. We'll have a few more tokens to draw from that vault over the next couple of days. Venom Bomb. We could get a Mr. Fantastic, Human Torch on the four star level. And again, uh, happens to be Captain Carol in here. Look at that, guys. The viewer luck strikes again. Got the legendary token in under 10 draws. Screen cap for sure. Very nice hit. I was uh, hoping to, I was mentioning the four stars in hopes to get those since the legendary seems a lot harder to, to get usually. You guys know how we run, it's crazy. Three star Cyclops. And Hood running good on threes again. We have a lot of heroics to draw. And so, with this targeting hero system that's been announced and it's coming out in. A um, couple weeks, many weeks from now. I wonder how it's going to work. And people are kind of keeping hold of their tokens and not drawing. Some, some people are wondering if they should be drawing their tokens or not. Man, maybe I, oh, I'm going to do a one-time pull here too. Thinking that you might get targeting hero shards... Like if it's a shard based system from actually opening tokens. I don't know if that's the case or not. And maybe they're going to code it that way. Um, by the way, uh, real quick point here. X-Force Wolverine is the Crash of the Titans. We're going to go right back to that after our tokens. And Domino's next. So start building her levels up if you want to get her ready to, to, to battle. So uh, nobody knows if it's going to be a shard based system or not. And four star... From the Blade Token events. Three, two, one. And we got Captain Carol. Very nice. Followed up with a She Hulk and a bonus. We're running super hot. Very nice. So we're not going to do any draws from the symbiotic relationship today. We will get actual tokens, though, from the Boss Alliance event. And we'll come back and do those. Back to Vicious Cycle later. And moving on. So I don't know if if, uh, if it's worth it to save your tokens or not until that system is announced. Maybe it is, but I think I'm going to save my elites. And I only have 13 now, but by the time that's released, we'll have a bunch. And we'll just save my standards until that point. But I can't usually feel like hanging on to my heroics anymore. Um, Three-star Colossus. And Thanos with the bonus hero. Yeah, guys, the threes. Ooh. Good thing I couldn't afford that. I accidentally clicked on the 10 pack. <laughs> so I don't know if the shard system is going to reward you for opening tokens 
or if it's going to reward you for applying the covers, then of course that also means I shouldn't be applying my covers in my rewards queue if that's going to be the case. Um, but I think, you know, if it's a shard system, there's a Komala, that'll be rewarded for gameplay, kind of like how they have red ISO uh, in all through the rewards from events. It'll probably either replace that or add to it or whatever. Got another four star, three, two, one. And it's Thing, he's boosted right now for the week. Pretty fun to play him in PvP with four star Professor X and Quake. Another three, Dr. Doom. So a lot of people are saving heroics too. I just, I don't know. If I miss out, I don't know if I'll miss out that much. But man, it sure is fun to draw these so you get more four stars out of control. <laughs> Got another one. Three, two, one. Another Carol. And look, guys. Qualified for the four star bonus hero for Rocket and Groot. Ah, oh, man, that's more fun to do that now than later, isn't it? And we're done with our tokens. So um, I'm gonna go. We'll go ahead and add in our characters, and we'll come back for the Crash of the Titans in a little bit. This one shouldn't take too awful long. I do have some characters that I rebuilt a little bit, so they'll have more covers to add in. But I like to recycle through these as often as possible. I hope the targeting system. I mean, I would like it if it does reward you with, with uh, targeting character shards from adding levels to your characters. I think that would be great, as long as it doesn't take away from something else we're already used to. But I'm going to keep pulling everything but elites and basics, I think, for now, and see how it goes. Saving legendaries of course as well and that's where the bigger shards would be rewarded anyway so I don't know if that'll still be the case but saving those is probably smarter 100 hero points from 3 star Captain Marvel Kamala hits the legendary tokens max champ at 266 again Daredevil's been my bonus hero for a while I think it's time to switch it over to somebody else since he's plenty into the 250s now 10 command points. Legendary at 257. Yeah, I think I can let the rest of his comers, covers come in naturally. 10 CP from Thanos. That's what we need, guys. 4,400 command points now. I'm, I'm kind of in a race to get up to see if I can make it to 5,000 command points before Carnage enters Latest Legends, which is usually, he, they almost always enter two weeks after their special store closes. So today's Thursday, that symbiotic relationship store will close um, late overnight on Sunday, um, America time. And then um, that next Monday morning, it will be uh, two weeks later, the, the Monday, Monday following, Carnage will rotate into Latest Legends. So about two and a half weeks from the day of this video. Hood needs another level for a legendary token. 2 levels on Hulk and he will reward a 4 star totally awesome Hulk. In that 2 weeks 2 and a half weeks time frame, I will champion all of our Duplicate three stars that are just waiting around for that to happen. Legendary for Deadpool coming up next. Need more red and black on that Gamora. And Squirrel Girl's got 24 covers saved. Awesome. Four stars. Let's see. What do we have? Just 11 covers, but that's great. Rocket and Groot, 8 command points, level 352, almost 25,000 health. Awesome. Carol's rewards are going to be, you know what, let's wait on her for last. She'll probably be the biggest rewards we get. Thing moves up a notch. Carnage, 4 star. 
takes a level. Let's make our Ghost Rider a little more powerful for his PvP. And we will get into the PvP action. I'll do a part two video for that. Namor, Iron Fist, take a couple of levels. Kate Bishop with hero points, I'll take it. Need those hero points. Human Torch, also. And check it out, Carol with the 10 command points and 250 hero points to the cross over 27,000 health for the very first time on my roster. Great. Cool. She only needs seven more levels to be completely maxed out, and that's it for the character level rewards. Let's get into the Crash of the Titans. We have to take on three-star Cyclops with X-Force Wolverine. I don't know the, um, you know the theory behind this matchup here. I don't imagine... Um, well, I, I know they don't quite get along, but not necessarily the X-Force Wolverine and uh, that version of Cyclops. But let me know if there's some story between the two in that regard. So what do we want to do? Well, we both have a huge black ability. That's the big deal. X-Force Wolverine's black is, is really quite good. And let's see, if I get black... This way, it will set him up with the black match after that. So I'm actually just going to do black this way. We both have a yellow ability. His yellow puts a bunch of red on the board, and his red hits pretty hard. So I need to watch out for yellow, and that's the color I use for healing. Wolverine's healing is just absurd. It's you know It doesn't happen automatically like the other Wolverine's. But um, it's just a ton when you when you get the uh, countdown to count. Oh, gave him a bunch of yellow. Take a quick look at his abilities here. Recovery, it creates a countdown tile. And when it goes off, uh, naturally, you get just an absolute ton of health, even at cover level 3 here. And some people run that yellow at 5. Um... But also, if it gets matched away, it uh, destroys tiles and deals damage for destroying. So sometimes it's actually even more beneficial to try to match it away, or hope that they do. He's got so much red, we are going to get hit with an optic blast. Now I need to watch his black. He's up to 7 Nine black already. This is this guy's getting out of control. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. I'm starting to remember these guys don't get along very well. And it shows in this match. So how do I want to do this green match? He's going to get red no matter what I do again. He doesn't bother with green matches though. He's got so much red again. This is crazy. And so here's what I'm going to do. Well, I can match away some red. I'm trying to get my black ability ready to go because black does a, a ton of damage depending on how many tiles are on the board of the enemy's strongest color. So if I can let him play yellow and then play my black, it is game over. Um, but let's give him a shot here of X-Force. I like to run this at cover level 5 because it does... Three different X-shape patterns uh, for uh, tile destruction in a 3x3 three three, uh, X-shapes. At cover level 4, it does a 5x5 five five 1X shape. And sometimes that one can do more cascades. It just depends. It feels like, anyway. This one does more damage up front and has the potential for cascades. There we go. That one worked really well, actually. Got us a black match. And we're up to nine. We need one more match in black, and this fight will be over. Going to get hit by another optic blast. This guy is just so lucky. <laughs> I probably could have played better to keep him away. Uh-oh, full blast. Look at this. 
I haven't had a, a match this close in a long time. This is fun. I'm trying to win with black. So let's see how close things actually end up getting here. Purple drops red. He's so lucky. Oh, man. Don't want to set him up with a black match. He'll get yellow. Oh, man. Oh, man. This thing's almost over. X-Force. Play my recovery. Do you think he has enough? Oh, man. This is so close. Um... I'm going to qualify my black here. I need him to do a match that does less than 305 damage. Let's see. 222. 83 health remaining. We're going to play Surgical Strike. It destroys all red tiles on the board. You can add up how much damage this would be. And that is a victory. Needed another couple turns to heal, but we'll take the win now, and he can rest up on his own. Wow, that was close. Fun, epic ending to the video. Guys, we're going to end it there. I'll make a part two of this where we get into PvP action. We'll get into Vicious Cycle with the four-star Ghost Rider. That one's a lot of fun. We'll play a few matches there and a few matches in the Sealed Shield Simulator and try to get in some of your character requests for team, um, for team groups that we put together. And then uh, a whole separate video, maybe in, a, in, a, in about a day from now, we'll get into some Sinister Six action. And it's a lot of fun. I like this event a lot because the there's so many points available because there's two different ways to fight the bosses. And you can clear this uh, whole... That you can clear this whole thing up in, uh, you know, a, a lot of times a day sooner than other boss events, depending on how much, po how many points you can score, and it's easier to meet your personal progression for rewards. Take a last quick look. The personal progression is great because you get all the way through to a four-star Spider-Man 2099, and separately from that, the Alliance rewards are worthy Captain America. So things are really good. Hope your alliance gets you through that uh, Spidey vs. Sinister Six boss event. And guys, we're going to end it there. Thanks so much for watching. If you need more MPQ on YouTube, hit up MPQ Mastery and uh, hit that icon for MPQ you see on your left side of the screen to become a subscriber. We're trying to push our numbers up there so we can do more fun stuff and support the channel. Thanks so much. Have a good one.